Luting, we have we have your night house or the phase one of your night house. Phase one. Phase one of <laughs> uh, a monstrous uh, night house, which we have absolutely loved working on. Uh, so tell us a bit more about it. Tell us a bit more about about the thought process behind it. What what you're planning on doing with it? And what, yeah, yeah. Tell me a bit more about it. The thought process was initially when I I'd always wanted to do like a castigator night, thrusters castigator. And we've got that model over there. Um, that was really the starting point for it. Um, like I discussed and I've discussed before, uh, there is this planet, the Luton Necropolis, in the law. And obviously, I wanted to do something to do with that. Now, there isn't necessarily a house Luton in the law. This is my own head canon. Um, but it seemed like a good way to go um, for a lot of different reasons. One, night's are pretty epic, and if you're going to do anything, why not do House Luton? Um, and then on top of that, you know, some of the classic... I was actually quite... Somebody said, oh, you know, it's unfortunate that you've got these uh, resin what the Sarastas. But um, no, these, these guys... I'm actually happy that they are resin uh, because I think it's sort of, you know, they, these, I actually got these, these would be like sort of some of the last resin ones before they went over to plastic. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, res, resin has its own feel, I think, if you don't like resin models. Um, but beyond that, yeah, like this is phase one. We've got some quite exciting models coming out for the phase two. Very stompy. Yeah, <laughs> but obviously you've got your standard quest knights and the armagers and the dominus and yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, so we'll, we'll go from the, I think yeah. the place to start is, is you know, your, your castigate. So I will grab it because we, we met on a painting class. That was one of the first times we probably yeah. met, wasn't it? And, and, yeah. and you came on obviously at one of our painting classes. Yeah. Uh, we met, obviously had a chat about it. And then th this was like the, the, the precursor to, to, the, to the night force. Yeah, yeah. And, and this guy was a bit of a nightmare to do because obviously a resin model, large resin model, it took me a long time to, to sort of get it all together and worked. And um, the, the sort of belt feed as well, I had to <laughs> heat distort. It actually broke whilst I was sort of bending it. So yeah. I, had to, I wanted the gun to be sort of off at a different pose. And that is the thing with the resin models is you can kind of repose if you're yeah. They are really good. Um, so it was an exciting model, but then once I built it and I was happy with that, it stayed for about a year just on my to-do shelf because I was just scared. It, I, I'd never painted a model that big before. I'd only ever painted like a dreadnought or you know a flyer or something like yeah. that. And it's a it's a because also it's a custom scheme. You know, I've got to work out the colours. It has to work across everything, and that was that was a really difficult thing for me. So I spent a long time planning it and working out what I wanted to do. And while you might look at it and think, oh, you know, it's just very straightforward, going for a yellow and orange and a black theme, and it's like, yeah, sure. But when you're trying to work it out and actually no. sort of piece together a colour scheme for an army, it's not that straightforward. No, no, hundred percent. I mean, what is your favourite night out of all of them? Do you think? I think uh, you might. Presume to go for the Serestus ones because they're so dominating and interesting. But actually, I think this guy from from the Quest Knights, this guy, because the Quest Knights are the classic knight, you yeah, know? and they really sort of speak to the whole feel for the Force. I think and the Dominus has got loads of really nice detailing and weathering, and the you know the, the weapons are more specific and you know so forth. And the armages are, you know, they're, they're smaller and so there's less going on. But the knights just kind of fit the mould of the knight. They really sort of... And this one as well, I really enjoy how the terrain comes up here. You know, there's... So a like very commanding kind of pose. Yeah, 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 yeah. Basing is something I care a lot about with models. Um, like with my one over there. Yeah. yeah. Sort of... Because you're sort of telling a story through the base. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think as well. There's, there's a lot of my models I have where I spend a long time like structuring a base and detailing and so forth. You know, it's an important part of any model. Yeah. Um, but I think it, it's got a really nice concentric basing scheme across it. I mean, so I've got to say, Simon, who's worked on them, mm. has thoroughly enjoyed obviously working on the phase one. Like, there's some, yeah. so many little details and things on that he's really spent a load of time and attention on. Yeah. I know that you were, you had some really interesting sort of ideas regarding sort of like the plasma effect. I know that we, we obviously done some bits and bobs on the plasma effect. Yep. Um, you've got some really nice kind of like complementary colours with the red and the green obviously the main yellow scheme as well which is quite, which is quite good tell me a bit more about that because obviously you, you said obviously that it's your own uh, custom night scheme which is, and you've got a very kind of like uh, almost like a hawk shroud kind of like look to it but it's not because it's got this lovely kind of umber orange kind of like tone to it as well yep. And you got the white and black, obviously, as well, to add extra details on there as well. Yeah. Um, did you did you like with the weathering that's on them? We, we, did you want like them? You obviously didn't want them to be super clean, but you've you've got a nice spattering and weathering across them as well. So you'll also notice that the, this one is slightly different than the others, and 
The thing is, is that when I conceptualise the law, the sort of headcanon custom law for myself, for the army, the idea is, is that this guy is a freelance knight, okay? He's right, a free, kind of, free, 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 free freelance knight who's come in the kind of Ronins of knights who are yeah. just out there in space. Something has happened to their house at some point, perhaps, or they've been let, made to leave or whatever. So basically, in my head canon law, on the planet, there has been like, the, the planet has been sort of separated from the Imperium via warp storms or whatever. The planet has had to cope with an orc invasion that has been occurring, and they've been basically isolated, left to deal with that. And so the the, the night house on the planet has been really ground down. Right, they've okay. lost many of their highest nobles and so mm -hmm. forth. And it comes to the point that when the Freeblade comes to the world, he either was coming in sort of earlier on, um, he, is operating separately from them, but sort of in tandem with them. Right, and okay. eventually the house comes to him and speaks to him and says, look, we're in a really bad way. You're obviously much more competent for whatever reason. We need new leadership coming in. Mm -hmm. And so he takes in this position and he sort of, even as far as changing his own colours. Oh, wow. So awesome. Changing his own colours and being really brought into the house. Not something he wanted to do initially, but ends up feeling like, okay, this is a new way to remake myself. And so that's why he even changed his colours. It's like a rebirth. Right, okay. Sort of being taken forward. In the, in the past, I've obviously played 40k. I've played in second and third and fourth. Yeah. I've played with, you know, for, for ages. Then I took a break, came back in. And I have tried in eighth and ninth. I've tried to get back into the game. And it's just, it's never been the right time. I've been too busy. It's been yeah. too difficult. I and I've never found the time. Yeah, I've never found the time to get grips with it. And I was like, this year, it's good. Yeah, this is the year, yeah. <laughs> um, so now I've got the Night Force. And again, from my sort of reading and understanding of people that are really into playing the tabletop game, Knights always seem like a mixed bag in terms of how people feel towards it, you know. But for me personally, this was like a force I wanted to do anyway. And I think, I was talking to uh, somebody else the other day where I was saying, you know, I think if you're going to try and learn, having a more character-based army that's like, you know, less less going on. Yeah, of course. A couple of because obviously, I mean, you know, if we're talking about like two thousand points, there's more than two thousand points here. Yeah, <laughs> there's more than two thousand points here. Two thousand points is going to be like these guys, these guys, these guys, and a couple of armages. Prob yeah, probably. Yeah, you know, I, I, I maybe a bit, couple of couple of normal crystal as a lancer and some armages or something like yeah, that. But, yeah, but but it gives you a nice ability to combine things and try stuff out. And there's a couple of guys I know that I'm hoping to learn and, and really. I, I say learn. I don't think it'll be that painful. <laughs> Maybe well, the name it will with what this yeah. is packing. Yeah. But, but, but I, I feel like I should be able to get to grips with things pretty straightforward. But I always think like if you're trying to get your head around stuff on the tabletop, I don't think the way to go is always to go in with this is my 2,000 point list and blah, blah, blah. I think turn up with some people you hopefully know and, and get on with and get some models on the table. And you want to have fun with it as well. Yeah. And I think it will, it will give you that because it gives you the option of choice. And you're quite right. Like one, I mean, look, I, I can play for quite a while, but... I think being able to then have a force whereby you you, you kind of you don't have so much micromanagement and you know right well the yeah. rules for this one are comparative to this one and this one and this one so you've got a more reduced amount of like things to choose from etc yeah. but it gives you a chance to just get used to and learn those models uh, a bit better and and whilst you know there are, there are many people in the tabletop sphere who are like super competitive and stuff there is a lot of people who just play for the enjoyment who are more than accommodating to be like oh yeah yeah just bring some models and we'll just have a game you know like i've had loads of people offer me games i've had loads of people say i'll just bring some stuff and we'll get a few games out you know so that's really where i want to be at and then you know, once I've got my head around and I'm familiar with this, then you can go on to the next thing. Exactly, yeah. yeah good. So, so, so overall, four, loads and loads of knights, as you can see. You've got three Crystorius, you've got, you've got six Armages, and you've got four Hellbrings as well. So you've got a really nice a shooty amount of the smaller knights, which is quite good. Yes. And then the, uh, the Lancers uh, to run up the, run up the flanks and, and take out yeah. some bigger stuff. Yeah. Um, but overall, amazing force, really, really good. I want to say a big thanks to all the team at Siege for letting us work on this amazing army yeah. for you. That's House Looting. I do hope that you've liked it ever so much. Uh, an incredible force that we've absolutely loved to work in on your behalf, uh, Looting. Appreciate um, it. I, 
So there's so many awesome models in here. If you've liked the video, then please do give it a thumbs up. Uh, chuck some comments below, let us know what you think. What's your favorite model from the Night House? Uh, if you're looking for a commission for an army like this or any other force or faction, then please do not hesitate in getting in touch. The link to the website can be found in the description of the video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video. See you very soon on the next one. Take care.